Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Kevin, and you're watching SC Fishtails, obviously. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna demonstrate how to fish for sheep's head in the Charleston area, Charleston, South Carolina. We have a great sheep's head fishery, as well as obviously redfish, trout, and flounder for the inshore species. We fish bridges and docks in this video using bottom sweeper jigs. They come in all different shapes, not shapes, but all different sizes. Um, I'll give you a quick look right here. We go from the one ounce, okay, in all different colors. You got orange, like a regular, your natural metal, metal uh, some pink, yellow, you got it all white, but they go, we use the, basically with the water's moving too quick, we use, when it's moving very fast, we use the one ounce. Um, you can even go a little bit higher. The color doesn't really matter. We fished fiddler crabs. I think they're called China backs. You can get them at our local shop here, Hadrils. Um, they're usually stocked full and they got a great, great uh, people working for them there. Um, very helpful, very informative. But we had everything lined. I had 15 pound uh, braid, uh, Power, Pro, Power Pro Slick, matched with this 30 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, and that seemed to be a trick. Just tie with a simple uni knot right to the bottom sweeper jig. Uh, you can hook the the fiddler you can hook the fiddler straight through the bottom or if you prefer you can hook it through the side sometimes people like that in case they bite it from the side you know i don't really know the difference i hope you enjoy this video and we'll have another one coming for you next week Yeah, I'm looking at the back. There he is. A little red, I think. <laughs> little puppy drum. Puppy drum. I thought it was a sheep's. Nice. <laughs> All right, there's two species here. It's getting started, baby. Little guy. Thanks for the tug, buddy. All right, we just got on two sheeps at our first spot here. Had a lot of bites, little smaller ones, uh, maybe even some pinfish or some little black sea bass there, but uh, got two nice sheeps. One was about 13 and a half, the other one like 15 and a half. So um, gonna move on to the next spot. That was a tank, dude. That was a tank. Thump. Got it. Cheeky little guys. All right, that's right up in there. Like Mike's on here. Oh, oh yeah. Little sheep's head. He's getting nibbled. Now he's on, baby. You want to get the net out? Yep. Pretty clean sugar on top. I'll probably get net. Might be able to get him. 
to this keeper. Sweet, nice one, dude. All right, there's Mike's Mike's sheep's head right there. Look at those teeth on that thing, baby. First one of the day. Yeah, baby. Getting released, about 13 and a half inches, straight on down. <laughs> Damn, what is it? Got him. Got it? Yeah. Nice. Nothing of size. It was definitely a sheep's. Yep, nice one actually. About the same size. 13 or 14. Take your time. I got him pretty good. I got him pretty good. He, take your time. He's, he's in his lip. Nice. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Sweet. Nice, baby. That's actually, that could be... 14 or 15. Let's see. Slap it right down there. Let's see this guy. Right there on the bottom sweeper. Right there, he's munching. It's gonna be close again. Getting measured up. Let's see here. Ouch. He is 15. Bring him out a little bit more. I think you have a little more That's good? Think you're keeper. good, dude. That's a keeper sheeper. <laughs> Two sheeps. Okay, we've been getting hit up here. It's just trying to get the convicts to bite. This one goes in the live well. Okay, that basically wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got another clip coming up right now for our next excursion where Mike and I uh, end up going out and fishing some docks mainly and getting on some big sheeps and some big redfish. So I hope you enjoy it and check this clip out. We'll see you next time. I felt like I had them. You know, I knew I had them, but then I felt them around the close. Oh my God. Yeah. When I do that once in a while, it's just hit or miss I'll flick the bail and let them see if they swim the other way sometimes they don't and it's even worse you lose a lot more line right. that's a big dog big dock monster oh you do yep you know this could be a sheep this could be a sheep dude I'm gonna get him over here, here. 